have been anywhere right now but you stuck with us and that is very important to us good morning and welcome to a brand new day it is officially the second day in the month of march absolutely now hey we appreciate the gesture of staying tuned to us uh, all through the show and we like to reciprocate by giving you a superb and bright start to your every single day especially this one this tuesday that's right uh, may i add mm, that you don't want to miss a single minute of what we have on the show as we have just the right amount of everything required for an ideal family breakfast show oh, and talking yes. about ideal mm -hmm. who's that ideal looking gentleman in the kitchen well yes he is ideal indeed it is ideal mike <laughs> 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 oh, you, yeah, yeah, you're my, my Angelo, yeah, you're my Angelo mood this morning. Hey, good morning, guys. How are you doing? Very well, so it's thank Tuesday, you. the most productive day, or uh, well, arguably, or meaningful, say it's the most productive day of the week, and uh, we're ready to take on the match. Yes, indeed, we are, aren't we? Yeah, we are. You know, that is a Mike Mexicano, <laughs> and I am Mary Bashua Alime. It feels so good to be back. It yes, feels indeed. really good. Yeah. My name is Mazino Appeal, <laughs> and it is good to have you back. What's what what is that? What is? Oh, oh, wow! Oh, wow! Welcome back, Mazino. <laughs> Take it now. Oh, this guy. Thank <laughs> you. And I love flowers. Those who know me well know. Actually, I, I just do. stole it from our um, Aww, little. I'm gonna put it right here. There. I'm gonna put it right here. <laughs> Anyhow, remember right you can use the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC across all social media platforms to be a part of the show here today. Yes, you can also watch us live from absolutely anywhere across the world, and that's through our mobile app. You can download uh, from the Google Play Store mm -hmm. or iOS as well. Yes, indeed, and please follow us. We are at TVC Connect on all social media platforms: Facebook, Instagram, and also on Twitter. Please use the hashtag, like I said from before. Now. Now, we are going to tell you what it is we have in store for you for a Tuesday here, the most productive day of the week, Indeed this first is. one in March. So, on Earth today, hmm? we will be joined by Dr. Diron Onifade, the Omo for uh, Dr. Connect. Uh, uh, did I just say Omo? I was going to say CMO. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what got through me. Now, he, it's a health tech company on a mission to making quality healthcare delivery possible via a mobile phone. Mm -hmm. And we will be discussing how technology is changing the face of healthcare. And right after that, we have a musical performance from Jonathan Joshua, popularly known as Nathan J. He's a singer and a songwriter who has um, he's carved a niche for himself with a very energetic performance, which we're going to be delighted to today. And then, of course, uh, on parenting, we have a new expert, Ola Bisi Oni the CEO of Luxury Bridal Errand. She is professionally skilled in advanced parenting, learning style, identification, and diagnosis. Today, she will be talking to us about becoming a value-adding parent. Oh, yes. Wow. I was going to... I was thinking value added tax. <laughs> and I was wondering. Welcome, Mary. <laughs> and uh, that's about it. Yes, indeed. Well, hey guys, it's so good to be here for a Tuesday in March. Yep. Hey, Tuesday, welcome back, Tuesday. Mary. What can yeah, I welcome say? back, Mary. How did you, how did you spend your miss you. You need to tell us. Believe it or not, how did you spend I your was work? indoor from the first day to the last day. That's very productive. That's, that's good. That's yeah, good. like... <laughs> it's, it's, uh, the punishments we used to get when we were kids are now our... Our luxuries. I'm telling you. Yes, we're exactly. like, you're going out too much. Go inside your room. Gonna sleep. Like right now, room. like, oh, really? Really? <laughs> okay, no problem. But so hey, imagine just go back home and that's it. Ah, go go inside your room. That's We had a very interesting day yesterday on social media. Everybody yeah. was talking about the fact that Ngozi Okonjo Iwela mm. resumed the office yesterday at the WTO as a director. First African, first female director, and it was a long fought win. We'd like to say congratulations to I her from all of us indeed. here I think uh, it's on Wake Up Nigeria. First it is African, big. First female, first black. First black. I forgot to like, add that one. You know, I was I was going through the I was going through the list of the previous uh, six before mm -hmm. her, and look, all 
white male you know how it is now mm. but like it's massive man it's, yes, this it is. is massive it's just what's being is celebrated and, and, and we're celebrating it here today we're going to tell you guys exactly mm. how but you were going to say yeah i was going to say for many women mm. this is actually very encouraging because yeah. we get told that women should take positions of authority some women have uh, somehow did it, couldn't make something good of it yeah. however this is a huge office mm -hmm. and a lot of expectations on her but besides that fact we cannot help but celebrate a woman being there and it also brings to mind the fact that international women's week is coming up boom next exactly. monday will be international women's exactly. day and this is something worth celebrating yeah women empowering one another and women taking up positions of authority mm. you I missed a very interesting show <laughs> uh the one where the ladies were all dressed in the yeah. uh, oh yes like, i saw it yeah there's one i want to do research and i think <laughs> as at the time she took the position mm -hmm. she probably might have been or would be the youngest person ever taking that position i'll check it out and i'll let you know yeah, we wow. showing right now i'm um, on an interview courtesy uh, guardian uk and uh, look at her looking all traditional all african that african mother we absolutely love mm. her we celebrate her here on wake up nigeria it is beautiful oh funny enough um upon taking office yesterday she accepted an apology from a swedish swiss yes, newspaper called that grandma. actually called her a grandma from a couple of weeks ago yeah and um her, her response was uh, it was timely that they are actually apologizing now to me me, it sounded like a threat. <laughs> <laughs> you better apologize. <laughs> yeah. Was, it like, really, was there really a problem with that? Well, being called saying, the grammar it, it's the, the way it was said. The the, 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 it's know, the way it was exactly, coined, actually. Exactly. exactly. We'll get to that. But it's all good. We celebrate her. Congratulations once again. And we go straight into the first hour with some news. And we begin in Sokoto, where suspected bandits have killed 12 people in Ilela, Almarawa, uh, uh, in the uh, Ilela local government area of Sokoto State. The gunmen attacked the area at about 2 a.m. And local vigilantes and community members had tried to prevent them from kidnapping a popular businessman, Rabiu Amarawa. Uh, but the heavily armed bandits shot sporadically and killed 12 persons in the process. The Sokoto State Police Command has confirmed the attack, adding that investigation into the matter has begun and more policemen have been deployed to the area. And less than 24 hours after seven people were killed in Kaduna State, another 10 persons have died after bandits attacked three villages in Zango, Kataf, and a Chikung local government area of the state. According to the Kaduna State Commissioner for, Interna for Internal Security and Home Affairs, Samuel Arwa, the bandits attacked uh, Kurmin Gunda village in Zango, Kataf, a local government area, and killed five people. They also burnt down ten houses and destroyed property around the Zango urban general area. Armed bandits also attacked Sabungaya and uh, Angwan um, Turai villages in Chikun local government area of the, and also killed five persons. Some survivors are recuperating in the hospital. Meanwhile, search and rescue operations are in progress following reports that several bandits sustained bullet wounds. The Katsina, uh, in uh, Katsina, the bandits also suffered some casualty um, after police and army operators raided their camps at Guzurawa and Garingambo villages in Safana local government areas. Nine bandits were killed and one AK-47 rifle uh, with five rounds of uh, 7.6mm uh, uh, ammunition were recovered. The state police command also paraded a number of criminals arrested in attempts to uh, wreak havoc on people. And on to other news now. The newly appointed Director General of the World Trade Organization, Ngozi Okonjo-Iweala, has arrived at the headquarters of the organization yesterday to resume office. Dr. Okonjo-Iweala was received by top management team of the organization on arrival. She was appointed the first female African Director General of the organization on 15th of February after a special meeting by the General Council of the body. The 66-year-old had served as Nigeria's first female finance and foreign minister and has a 25 year career behind her as a developmental uh, development economist at the World Bank. She also serves on uh, Twitter's uh, board of directors uh, as chair of the Gavi Vaccine Alliance and as a special envoy for the World Health Organization COVID-19 fight.
And that's it for the news. So let's welcome you back again. And uh, let's tell you what's inside the dailies, all the headlines that you might find on the front pages as we do every single day here on Wake Up Nigeria. March 20, uh, no, March 2nd, 2021, of course, for a Tuesday here, most productive day of the week. Let's get started with the Punch newspaper, shall we? And right off the bat, the first headline on the Punch newspaper, Southern States dismiss blockade. North food traders insist on strike. This on page two. We won't appeal to North traders. Herders should stop the Destroying our farms, says Ondo. Uh, with no cows in our bushes, we will produce more food, say Enugu farmers. And traders allege extortion, harassment, say leaders summoned by DSS for questioning. At the very top of the Punch newspaper, NMA faults NPHCDA's registration portal for COVID-19 vaccinations. And reps summon a med customs uh, budget office uh, over duty waivers. And petrol scarcity, ploy to hike price, say marketers. This on page 30. I'm sure you'll find that one very interesting. Lagos court finds 172 arrested at Cubana um, nightclub. Um, they have fined 6.8 million naira. That was one that made rounds on social media over the weekend. And at the bottom of the Guardian newspaper, rather the Punch newspaper, and finally, Amnesty Ransom will encourage bandits kidnapping, says Peter Obi. Let's move on now to our next daily this morning for you, and that is the Daily Sun newspaper. As we start with a big headline here, petrol scarcity hits Abuja, Oyo, and others. Black market sells for 400 naira per liter. That is indeed scary. And a look at a photo story there. would uh, find uh, pictures of queues already in these places that have been mentioned. To the side of that, APC Governors Forum, DG blows hot. Nigeria's situation no longer acceptable, he laments. Insecurity, all necessary platforms in place to keep schools safe, says federal government. DSS invites cattle dealers uh, union. And FG orders customs, NAFDAC to seize unauthorized vaccines. Uh, Buhari has eventually to pick dates for vaccination. At the bottom here, scarcity of cows, goats and rams in Ibadan. Sharp drop as 500 cows being slaughtered daily move to just 150. And finally, PDP threatens to sue Adeyemi over verbal attack on Ikbiazu. I won't dignify a madman, says the governor, APC defense senator. We move on now to our next paper, and that is the Guardian newspaper for today, Tuesday. Right off the bat, front and center, we find Director General of the World Health, uh, rather World Trade Organization, Dr. Ngozi Okonjo-Iweala, as she takes office only yesterday, uh, being met with officials at the WTO as she resumes office, and it's all about her today on the show. To the side of that photo story, telcos count losses as inactive telephone lines hit 7.6 million in two months. Service providers loss, uh, lose uh, uh, 10.8 billion naira to FG's NIM SIM uh, directive, and MTN submits 32.2 million subscribers NIN to uh, NIMC for verification. And Nigerians scramble for fuel as price hike and scarcity spread which reminds me I have to put some fuel in my car this morning. Moving on now to our next daily, that is the Vanguard Outrage greets blockade of food cattle coming south on page 5 as DSS invites food and cattle dealers union leadership. Uh, amalgamated union of uh, foodstuff cattle dealers stop movement of food to south. It's a wake-up call for southwest, says YCE, and it's cold war against the southwest. Moving on now, this is a very interesting photo story here. Um, the Arole Odua, Oni of Ife, His Imperial Majesty, Oba Adeye Enita Ogungusi, um, at the official unveiling of COVID-19's first and only made in Nigeria herbal remedy duty, uh, duly certified and approved by NAFDAC. To the side of that leadership tussle, Akira Dulu suspends NURTW and RTEAN in Ondo State. That was also a big discussion yesterday. And finally, NBC jams Radio Biafra signal in Lagos. And that's as much as we can take for the dailies this morning. Thank you very much for joining us. Grab a copy, make a message or a comment on social media when you tag us. Wake Up Nigeria on TVC will try and make sure that we do something with those tags. Guess what I saw? What? The first two questions that are 
when you when you Google me, mm -hmm. the first one is is Mary Basha Alimi married? Aww. The second one is Mary Basha Alimi husband. <laughs> Those Everybody's are the most wondering. frequently asked <laughs> questions, and I was like, what? Why? Interesting. <laughs> so yeah, you, you, normally when you see some so, somebody and you're trying to, so you see questions about relationship and age. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, relationship first, age comes next. Mm -hmm. Then uh, let's see, start looking at okay, what films or career and all of that. Well, you know? Interesting. And talking about even though that, I just want to quickly touch on something before we move on. This food scarcity, yeah. you were you were reading about yeah, it. The and papers. I, yeah, it started as a rumor last week when uh, a cousin of mine went to the market and a Hausa friend of hers mm -hmm. was like, uh, they might be relocating to the north soon. Oh that they are being discouraged to bring food down to the south. Mm. And I was like, oh, come on, that's just talk. It can't be true. But here it is. Well, here it is. And so it's, it's, it's really appalling. But that's not the focus. The focus okay. today, yes, is Mike's dressing and why he chose to dress this way. <laughs> ah, come on. Yeah. tribal <laughs> versus, you know, uh, so a So I actually love Ankara pants. I, I know. Too. I have. I, but, <laughs> but I've not worn them in a very long while. Uh -huh. But due to some circumstances, I did that. So, but this one, I just thought, okay, let's see. So uh, uh, yesterday, of course, yeah. we saw um, go, Dr. Ngozi Kojiwala take off his. And the contrast thing was the way every other person was on the suit around her. She and was she was still on cultural. her still Ankara. African. So, you know, it was, a, it was a lovely sight to behold. Yes. Yeah? This is Geneva, Switzerland. It's not anywhere. This is the, you know, Switzerland, Geneva is the city that has the most world uh, uh, startles, mm. the, most, the most headquarters okay. of world organizations in the world. Yeah, they have to be. A lot of the money was taken there. as in that place is. Mm. Those are countries that, let's not even just start talking about. Interestingly, she has stuck to her guns about the way she looks and presents herself as African, that African woman. Exactly. That yes. And it got us wondering today on the show, we're asking, hey, can you be corporate, be corporate yet I, still remain African, African, especially in your attire? Mm. I've always been a sucker for, I love to look African. African, um, yeah. I like wearing, um, we call them senators, mm. senator suits. I call them senator suits because that's what they are, especially when they're really fitted. Well made, very yeah. Very good. Mm. We should be in Abuja. <laughs> so you just I, have different I colors. <laughs> <laughs> just have, so so, so what, what she has on, on TV right now is an Ankara. And she looks gorgeous in it. Yes. Now, we see our parents wear Ankara. We see Only on older Atlantis. folks. No. <laughs> parents wear Ankara a our lot. Parents, yes. Our parents. Mm -hmm. And I, I remember recently the Millennials Challenge mm -hmm. started. And people were like, ah, these millennials, instead of you to wear your baggy jeans, you mm. guys used to wear, and your baggy t shirts, mm. you guys are wearing native old people. <laughs> and so you just wonder is it that the older you get, the more interested you are in your culture? No, not really. You not really. Okay, so the, 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 the main issue here has to be on a Monday morning, if you, would you, if you dress like her mm -hmm. into a corporate organization as acceptable? a staff, would they allow you to enter? Okay. Now, very that's the main issue. That's, that's just that's the main I issue. I once worked at a bank, mm. and the reason why I worked there was for creative reasons. They wanted my creative juices, of course. Um, and um, I said to them, since all you need is the creativity, it doesn't matter how I dress to work, because I am used to simply dressing in a senator suit, and that's my wardrobe is filled with them, and I'd like to keep it that way. But they said, nah, no, I had to come in a shirt and a tie. And I will tell you something that affected my creativity because. I wasn't that guy. Yeah. You mm. know. As soon as the issue is over, by the way, this comes off. With the country well and the way she presents herself now, this especially with the office that she's holding, we're asking, hey, how can is it possible to remain African or rather to remain corporate while still um, looking as African as she does, whether male or female. That's our question today. And we've also also taken that to social media. We've have, we have a social media uh, post up, and we'd like you guys to get up on there and make a comment what you think. I think it's something that we have to start it, doing. It, it is something that people do in the corporate world, but in certain areas. Mm. Like, it's not a strange thing, for example, in broadcasting to wear a T-shirt and jeans on Monday or to wear Ankara on Monday or any day of the week. Uh, Broadcast is not a corporate world. <laughs> it is. Yes, believe me, it is. It, it is, is actually. It's far from it. Like, what I it mean, is. I'm, I'm it looking is. at, say, like you said, like you mentioned, the banking industry, mm -hmm. you know, uh, where you are expected, you are given strict rules. You mm -hmm. can't wear a jean as an executive and shirt and go into. 
You can't actually. 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 Mm -hmm. By virtue of the fact that you have a beard. Yeah. Well, yeah. definitely. But now fact. they're like, hey, go ahead. Yeah. And I have a friend who's got dreads who now who works at a bank right now. Yeah. Eh? Okay. It's, it's, but, what about like the, but what about the dressing? The dressing, it will get there. See, <laughs> even the dressing is <laughs> like dressing. I know someone who works at the Elephant Bank, has been there for several years, mm -hmm. and Fridays they are encouraged to wear. Yeah, that's fri so yeah but you know Friday, something about Fridays again? What now? Is you there's also a limit to what you can wear. Yeah. You can't wear you can't wear a badana. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so my, like, my point is that my point my point I want to make is that in here being corporate and being African are mutually exclusive. They don't mm. think that they can work together. Yeah, well, I believe that. It, you know, this it, conversation it is going I mean, look to continue. I mean, yes. It's definitely it's going to continue. Yeah, exactly. But we need to take this break. <laughs> we'll be right back. Stay with us as Wake Up Nigeria. Thank you for staying with us. Uh, now, uh, this morning on health, we're doing uh, quite a bit of, uh, you know, uh, something with technology and health, right? We have uh, Dr. Diron Onifade now. He's a part of a COVID-19 response team with the Lagos State, Medical uh, Lagos State Emergency Medical Service and the Chief Marketing Officer for Dr. Connect, which is a health tech company on a mission to making quality health care uh, delivery possible via a mobile phone. Wonderful. We can do so much with our mobile phones. Now we can uh, get our health, uh, you know, recommendations. We can get diagnosis and all of that via the mobile phone, yes. right? Yes. Hmm. How? How so? How so? How does it work? Okay. Yeah. This this has actually been ongoing for a while now. Hmm. It has been coming. We are expecting it to actually take over everywhere. So I think the first question we should answer is mm. what exactly is health technology itself okay. before we get to the how. Okay. So health technology itself is an organized set of knowledge and skills that can either be in the form of device, procedures, and vaccination. The vaccination you talked about in the last program, maybe remember that. So when you put all these things together, use them to solve a particular health problem and improve the quality of life. Okay. Most importantly in this part of the world, I think the, the what we should look about is reduce the cost to the patient and to governance. Okay. When you are able to do that, you see that quite a lot of people will be able to afford health service. COVID-19 right. taught us something that most people don't actually need to go to the hospital to get the basic things done. Why should you go and queue in general hospital when 75% of those people should not be there in the first instance? When they can get this thing done on their mobile phones. Mm, same way you started with banks, now we're moving into healthcare. So exactly. in the layman's language, what we're saying is that you can access healthcare on your phone. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. So for the average man now, you have to, of course, it's made available via the app ah, and yes. all of that to yeah. communicate. How does, how does that work? Okay. There is telemedicine. And mm. quite a lot of people understand telemedicine. There are a lot of companies that are doing telemedicine in Nigeria right now. But this time around, telemedicine itself in itself does not bring the experience of the hospital to the house. So what we are doing differently is that, what are the things you get to do when you do the hospital? First, when you get to the hospital, they check your vital signs. Exactly. After you register, mm. they check your vital signs. You see the nurse, they check your BP, your sugar, and all that. When they do that, then you proceed to see the doctor after sorting you to the department you need to go. To go to. So what we have done differently is this. Why can't we bring the whole of that experience and bring it to your phone? so that the hospital itself is with you anywhere you go. Can I check my vitals on my phone? That's where we are going. Yes, you can do everything. How DIY. do I do that? How do okay. I do that? So we have bouquets of products. That's, there's a monitor we have that we have called a 6-in-1 health monitor that when you buy or get this device from us, you'll be able to check your blood pressure, your temperature, your SpO2 level, your ECG, your sugar level, your mood anal analysis. You do all those things through your phone and that device. You just connect and integrate that device with your application. When you do that, everything that you do, you need to check your blood sugar level, it gets uploaded 
to wherever your doctor is, it synchronizes. Is, so okay, that is an ex, that is an ex, another device. Yes, that's another device. Everything which is you on need. your phone. Yes. Okay. And another device that that's you get saying, from another us. device that you get from us. So those are that device I'll use to check, and yes. then it to be uploaded on the phone. Yes. So it's not what phone. I'm saying is that it's not exclusively on the phone. No. There's an extra device There's that device. you need to get. Yes. All right. That's There's why. I, that's what I was, that's what yes. I was going to. There's a device. Okay. So when you now check this thing, let, let's say you are in Lagos, your your doctor is in Kwara State, no here, and you check all these things. Immediately your doctor gets it, immediately you do it yourself. Just like what happened in the hospital. Yeah, is this device, is it really affordable for the average man? How affordable is we it? We have packages as low as 40,000 naira. Okay, for we this have, device. As, then we have insurance that can make people to pay over time. Okay, all right, over time, I like that. So once you, once, uh, you get your vitals and all that, it gets, does it automatically get, up, does it get uploaded automatically or you have to impute the details? Itself? No, automatically. Okay. Once you have your Bluetooth on, it synchronizes it with synchronizes the device. And then and it sends it straight sent to, the to your doctor. And okay. you know the beautiful thing? Immediately you, your doctor gets this thing. Your doctor can call you through telemedicine service, that video or text or call, whatever, and it consults you. It's just seamless like you are just in the hospital. Mm. Everything is just continuous. Mm. And that's not the way it, that's not where it ends. It proceeds again to people that are dealing with something like weight loss. Mm. Because there's a problem with weight loss that we are not really looking into, which is actually a major problem. I'm, I'm a slim person. I'm not a big person. If I stand on the weighing scale right now, they will say probably I weigh 70 something and I feel all is fine because I'm not obese. But there's something wrong in the BMI, BMI. measurement itself because what it measures is the body mass index using your height and your weight. I have some visceral fats within me that is not taken account of. I have some fat collected in my vessels that is not taken account of. The bone mass is not looked into. The body content is not looking into. And they tell me that I'm LV and I go home because I weigh 70 something. That is what has been happening. So there's a new body of knowledge that we are pushing actively called the body composition analysis using our device. Okay. That place, you know that, okay, when you stand on the scale, we have the scale. When you stand on this scale, you know that, oh, this is what I'm weighing. This is my BMI. This is my bone mass. This is my fat content. This is my water content. This is my visceral fat level. It shows you about 11 parameters. So when you now know that, okay, this is, this is my weight. My weight is fine, but this what is What shows longer. you? The weight the or the scale. app, the weighing scale. Is synchronized that means the weighing scale can also um, it can also get your height because you need your height for your. You BMI. are going to input your height. Okay, you're going that's to input only, your height exactly. exactly. Yes. I want to get that yes. because for the way when you go on the weighing scale, you don't impute your weight. No, yes. It sorts that out for yes. you. So, but your height you have to impute it so into that means your you application to, into the application yes. for it to sort your BMI. Yes. Yes. Uh, okay. Yes. All right. Okay. So when 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 that is done, you, you said eleven about ten, eleven other parameters, uh, parameters that yes. are. What are those parameters? So, so that's the that's what I'm saying. That the weight. Okay. Your bone mass. Your bone mass. Your fat content. Your visceral fat content. You have your protein level. You have your ideal weight without fat. Mm. Ideal weight without the fat. Then you have your complete body composition analysis, like your physiological component, everything shows from mm. the application. Okay. And every day that you are checking it, it plots a graph for you. Mm. Like today, this is what you are. Tomorrow, this is what you are. Next tomorrow, this is... So it keeps going. So when it gets killed to a particular side, you know something is wrong. I need to take action to my cholesterol level, to my water content, to my bone mass. And you see a lot of people register into weight loss programming or maybe diets. And they don't continue because they say, today I'm weighing 106. I've been doing this exercise, I'm still weighing 106. But when it comes to weight loss, it first starts from conversion, conversion of that fat into muzzle. And it goes like that. There are different components that the weighing scale does not show you. So that period that you are not seeing that physical digit that is changing, exactly. something is happening. Something is happening. But you have been discouraged and you stop it. With our technology that we have we just launched now, you can just get on here and say that, okay, though it's not reflecting here, but it's happening already. You are on, motivated. On and some other places. So you yes. can see parameters changing, changing in some other places, I, which people need for motivation exactly. to keep themselves going. Exactly. I need to see something. Exactly. I need to see something. So you reward yourself and you continue. It still does not stop there. Then we had the, for the first time we have the food scale that have our African food, that you can put your food on it and you know the kilocalorie of what that food is. Hmm. Your eba can go on it and say, okay, this eba that I'm eating this morning is 100 kilocalories. All I need to use for my weight loss program is to eat throughout the day is 200 kilocalories. So you can know, I've taken 100 kilocalories in the morning, 
This is what you mean in the they, afternoon they, and night. They, they, they are, but it's on, it's on a weighing scale. Yes, you just put it on the weighing scale. Yeah. You your plate and put it on the weighing scale. Some people can cheat with that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, can the couple, okay, okay. Well, no. if it's a weighing scale, it's yes, almost... it's a weighing but scale. Then, but some foods, some foods can weigh more and have less calories. Is that is that possible? Yes, it's possible. For yes, it depends on more. the food itself. It depends on the food itself. Yes. So, some, yes. so let's, say, let's say, for instance, now, pounded yam will weigh more than amala. Yes, of course. <laughs> because definitely. of the composition and of all of course. that. Okay, so but now, okay, but this weight now can be used to deduce the calories in the food. That's not, what you're saying. Yes, you now get the kilocalories. Mm. Now you know how many kilocalories you need to, use to eat to keep fit. Mm. You can now use it to own your health, own your weight loss program, own your diet, and you continue. Mm. So this together with the weighing scale, our smart, intelligent weighing scale, food scale, everything together, you can use that to control. So, because we look at these things, people progress, people don't look at nutrition before they go to intervention. Nutrition is quite very key because it progresses. If you take your nutrition very well, you are not going to progress to the type of, to when you are going to need intervention. So most people get to the intervention time before they now go to the hospital. But by the time you look at your nutrition and the lifestyle, you know that this is what you need to do ideally for you not to now start going, I'm, I'm down with hypertension, I'm down with this, I'm down with that. And when you watch your diet, you get fine. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much. Uh, this is all. Um, this is all quite new to a number of people. But then, like you said, it's it's the now. It's not just the future. It's the it's now. The it's now. something that everybody has it's to now. embrace as soon it's as possible. It's even everywhere. Even with Lagos wonderful. State. Wonderful. They wonderful. have wonderful. this electronic health record system now that they don't carry cards all along anymore. Wonderful. When you get to the hospital now, you just get a card. It's just like an ATM card. Mm. All your details are input. The doctor already has it. He sees you. Do the documentation and send the drug to the pharmacy. You just go there. You are not carrying anything. Just go there, give them your number thank and you. pick up. <laughs> Dr. Duran, thank you very much. <laughs> that was quite an expose on what you are doing. Um, uh, wishing you the best. Thank you thank so you. much. All right, thank you for that's it me. on health and technology this morning. We'll take this time out now. It's still more to come. After all the talk this morning, it's time to do some cooking. And uh, with me for that purpose is Chef Isaac. Hi, good morning. Always a pleasure to have you on the show. Thank indeed. you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, so what are we having for breakfast? Because I'm trying to make head and tail of this <laughs> coconut and chocolate. Okay, we have a uh, gourmet egg roll. Gourmet egg roll? Egg roll yeah. Mm, so you're used to the regular egg roll, right? This one is the gourmet, the special type of egg roll, the refined egg roll, egg roll. not your regular egg roll. Uh, so let's learn how to make this. I know you've put in some items there. Yeah. So we'll start from the items you put in there and then we'll talk about the ingredients. Great. So um, I've actually put um, a little bit of nutmeg. Okay. Yes, and uh, my cinnamon. Okay, nutmeg, cinnamon. cinnamon okay. Yes. And um, a little bit of um, our yeast. Okay. So rising the, the, the floor okay. in the, our sauce. Okay. So basically we have our sugar here and the egg. Okay. We have the raw egg to whiskey with the milk. Okay. So we can mix it along with the floor. Okay. And we have our chocolate here. Okay. And these are coconut. Okay. In salt. Our okay. vegetable oil to fry our egg roll. Okay. Yes. As you can see, I put a little bit of water here. Yeah. So I'm just going to warm it to okay. melt my chocolate. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. So okay. you can actually call it, instead of calling it gourmet egg roll, you can call it infused, infused cinnamon. Oh. Wait, He's wait. about to give you a very long name now. Just wait for it. Infused yeah. cinnamon. Yeah, infused cinnamon. Mm -hmm. With so, chocolate. Uh, yeah, mixed with coconut. chocolate. Or coated with chocolate uh -huh. and topped with coconut. Hey, Uncle, let's just stick to gourmet. I beg. <laughs> because by the time you finish, there's already a full stop. Yeah, yeah, that gives you, that, that give you an explanation of what we're doing. Of what we're actually doing. Yes. Hmm, hmm, interesting. So put it your own way. Then I'll put it my own way. Okay. Yeah, let's hear your own way. <laughs> gourmet egg roll. Gourmet. No, that's my own way. Okay, okay. Infused uh, cinnamon. Infused cinnamon. Yes, coated with chocolate. Coated with chocolate. And topped with uh, coconut. And topped with coconut. Okay, okay. All right, so let's do our gourmet. Uh, egg roll. Egg roll. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this is our sugar. Okay. I actually got the measurement, but I'm not going to put everything. Okay. I just put the leaves, so okay. it's going to be too much. How much flour are we making is of? Yup, uh, it's like 200 grams. 200 grams, yeah. okay. What about the sugar? Oh. Uh, Oh, the sugar is actually 200. This one is 1 kg. Okay. And this one is 200 grams. So, 1 kilogram flour, yes. 200 gram sugar. Exactly. Are you sure you put in enough sugar? Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's enough. It's enough. It's okay. enough. Because you have a chocolate that would make it more sweet and everything. Okay, so yeah. what are we putting in next? Yeah, we'll put next, we're going to put our, our butter. butter. Yes. Okay. 
Yeah, the after, but I do need uh, you know the the dry go with the dry, yeah. while the liquid goes to the liquid. Okay. So after the dry, now we'll go with uh, the butter, and, and after the eggs, then the egg and, and the, milk. the milk. Okay, okay. Big welcome to the second hour here, and of course Mary, who's back at work. Yeah. It's your favorite breakfast show. <laughs> and it still feels good to be back. You know, we always look forward uh, to making memorable moments with you every single day of the week. And I really yes, miss that. True, true. You have missed quite a lot and we have missed you while you're missing us. <laughs> day by day, step by step, we make progress on the show here. Be rest assured that the next 45 minutes is going to be exceptional. Now, as we begin the month of March, yeah, yeah, we're going to begin it with good vibes. Yes. We started it yesterday with getting on with it and it's going to continue that way. And of course, with new goals ahead, mm -hmm. uh, free yourself of failures and and disappointment of yesterday because yesterday is gone yeah. instead I need you to embrace a new perspective okay yes indeed listen to what she said we still have so much waiting for you in store for us here and our chef has been very very busy in the kitchen whipping up some scrumptious stuff chef Isaac I can see you very busy he's, in he's there. all over the place like I he's know. trying to put everything together <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much in any case very special month for me this month but <clears throat> uh, yeah <clears throat> Sure. No, no, not sure. yet. You'll find Let that. Let us in. Let us in. <laughs> Her name is Mary Basha Alimi. And uh, yes, it still feels so good to be back. Like, I feel like I'm going to just keep saying that for the next week. Yes, indeed. <laughs> uh, she doesn't know my name. It's Mazino Appeal. D does he have to? <laughs> you can use the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC across all social media platforms to be a part of the show, like we said from before. You can also watch us live from absolutely anywhere it might be in the world. Use our mobile app, find it on Apple or iOS store. Uh, and uh, follow us at TVC Connect on all socials. Alrighty, so what do we have for the rest of the show, please? Okay, we have a musical performance uh, from Jonathan Joshua, uh, popularly known as Nathan J, a singer and songwriter who has carved a niche with his performance. Also, we will be joined by parenting expert Olavitioni, the CEO of Luxury Bridal Erin. Uh, she is professionally skilled in advanced parenting, learning, style, identification, and diagnosis. Today, she will be taking us, uh, while well, talking to us, about becoming a value-adding parent. Interesting. I've got to say action. Nah, <laughs> a value-adding parent. Mm -hmm. You know, you've never seen yourself as such until somebody say, asks you the question, are you a value-adding parent? Are you adding value are to your Are you adding your value to life? your child, exactly. And you know something I've realized about life? When people look from the outside, it's easy to say you're not doing enough for your child. Mm. When mm. you might be giving your best. And Who said that from the outside? We stone you something. <laughs> <laughs> Circumstances. Yeah, Circumstances. So, some people see things from outside and they just go, uh, fact, you're fact. not a good parent. Fact. And then I I'm always have issues days. with people saying, oh, you weren't raised right by your parents. Slap. Yeah, because... Force my clap. No, because as far as I'm concerned, your parents can only do their best. Very yeah. It's also your responsibility to raise Very yourself true. right. What about people that were Very raised true. by parents and mm. they still turned out right? No, I saw there's this story, very, very short story. I said uh, there, was an, uh, there, was, there were two kids from an alcoholic father. Mm -hmm. One turned out very well, another one turned out like the father. Yeah. Mm. That's the first one turned out like my father. Why do you turn out like this? Because I, of my father. I looked at my father, I watched my father. That's the second one. Why do you turn out like this? Because I looked, I looked at, at my, my father. father. So it depends on what you look know. at. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, mm -hmm. I, I just that simple to just let you know that ah, they looked at the same person but saw different things. So yes. one saw what I should be, one saw, six, one saw, one saw what saw I nine. should not be. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. One saw what six I should not be. <laughs> In oh, case, awesome. <laughs> I don't know why she Mon chose this. Oh, God. Why did she well, it, it, Just this bad segue. Let's move away from that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> COVID-19. Yes, mm. yes. COVID-19. Real quick. Yeah. yeah. We just want to say out there that it's still on. South Africa's preparing for the third wave. Third wave. Be very, very careful. Please make sure that you are still going about all the protocols that are necessary. Please. And stop falsifying all these fake test results to go to Please. Dubai. Because Dubai has banned it. Yeah. Welcome back, second hour, the news. We begin here, Sokoto, where suspected bandits have again killed 12 people in Ilela Amarawa in the Ilela local government area of Sokoto State. The gunmen attacked the area at about 2 a.m. and local vigilantes and community members had tried to prevent them from kidnapping a popular businessman, Rabiu Amarawa, but the heavily armed bandits shot sporadically into the air, killed 12 persons in the process. The Sokoto State Police Command has confirmed the attack, adding that investigation into the matter has begun and more policemen have been deployed to the area. 
In less than 24 hours after seven people were killed in Kaduna State, another 10 persons have died after bandits attacked their villages in Zagokataf uh, and Chikung local government area of the state. According to the Kaduna State Commissioner for Internal Security and Home Affairs, Samuel Arunga, the bandits attacked Kumin Guda, or rather Kumin Gandu village in Zangokataf, local government area, and killed five people. They also burned down 10 houses and destroyed property around the Zango urban general area. Armed bandits also attacked Sabungayan and uh, Ungwan uh, to rai villages in Chikun local government area and killed five persons. Some survivors are recuperating in hospital. Meanwhile, search and rescue operations are in progress, following reports that several bandits sustained bullet wounds. The bandits also suffered some casualties in Katsina State after police and army operators raided their camps at Guzurawa and Garingambo villages in Safana local government area. Nine bandits were killed and one AK-47 rifle uh, was also uh, uncovered. Um, the state police command also paraded a number of criminals arrested in an attempt to wreak havoc on people. And some good news now. The newly appointed Director General of uh, the World Trade Organization, Dr. Ngozi Okonjewele, has arrived at the headquarters of the organization yesterday to assume office. Dr. Okonjewele was received by top management team of the organization on arrival. She was appointed the first female African Director General of the organization on the 15th of February after a special meeting by the General Counsel of the body. The 66-year-old has served as Nigeria's first female finance and foreign minister and has a 25-year career behind her as a development economist at the World Bank. She also serves on Twitter's board of directors as chair of the Gavi Vaccine Alliance and as a special envoy for the World Health Organization's COVID-19 Vite. And that's it for the news. All righty, guys, welcome, and it's time for some music. We've got a musical performance here, and we have been joined by Jonathan Joshua, popularly known as Nathan J. He is a singer, songwriter, and much more. So, hey, um, Nathan, what are you going to be performing for us today? Yeah, I'm going, I'm going to be performing, um, I'm going ah. to be performing um, one of my songs um, off my um, EP, okay. Tuesday. All right, Tuesday. Yeah. Is that what it's called? Yes, yeah, that's the name of the EP, though. Nice, interesting. So, I'm performing like a song of it. His name is Carol. So I have one question for you. Now you are Afro pop, and just before we came on, I was asking you the difference between Afro pop and Afro trap. So if you don't mind, could you just give us a bit of education on that? Like the Afro pop is the normal Nigerian sounds that we all know about, and then the Afro trap is the trap music that we know that's made African. Yeah, well, I don't know really exactly. This is why I was asking. You. For instance. Would you say if you're rapping your track, then that makes it an Afro trap tra uh, track? Yeah, if you no no, if you make um a trap music, and then you infuse your um, Nigerian sounds in it, mm -hmm. like we have the likes of Migos, like Migos make trap music. Yeah. So, but when you do that same stuff here and add like some um, Nigerian, like the pigeon English in it, it makes it the uh, Afro trap. Oh, very interesting. Yeah. Hey, we can't wait to see what is you have today, and we're looking forward. We've been waiting for a while. So let's just have you take it away. Okay. Yeah, 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 ah, yeah. Striana. I know they like me, your girl. I want you to set from your head to your legs. Your watery booty, they make a bad man to fear. Oh, so you make a bad man to fear. I'm a little charm, I got you right to confess. Say you're looking pretty and your eyes stay correct. Say my girl, no, even need to suck it, belly. Her body make you pick up perfect. I know the way till I marry you, yeah. I know God, all you would die. And me always there for your die. Nothing of it. Come close, make a carry you, my lady, yo. I know go like you to fall, fall, fall. I mean, you always like to do love, love, love. You hear it is you. Don't you know that you give me peace of mind, oh yeah 
And I don't know why Why the mother guys wanna waste your time Oh my god, see my baby know they lie She tell me say, she not gonna leave me alone Fight for you day and night And you gon' know, see I'll be back no one know You say no time but I got time to waste time, yeah Body so nice, want a taste time, yeah Give me sweet love, I don't dare wait for ya And you gon' see they pepper them cause them hate time, yeah You don't say no time but I got time to waste time, yeah Body so nice, want a taste time, yeah Give me sweet love, I don't dare wait for ya And you gon' see they pepper them cause them hate time, yeah It is you Amazing. Well done. Well done. I really like those sounds. Okie dokie. We're back in the kitchen. And as you can see, a lot is going on right now. Uh, Chef Isaac is still the one in charge. He's still the one uh, making the decisions and trying to blow our minds. Wow, what's more like. So that is our uh, egg roll. Uh, it hasn't become gourmet yet. Uh, you will find out the gourmet aspects very soon, so don't you worry. Uh, so far, so good. Chef Isaac, yep. show us how you roll each. Okay. As a matter of fact, I've, 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 I'm frying some already. Yes. So this under under portion. Okay. So just nail it together. Okay. Let it smooth. Okay. Then you can open it like this. Okay. Great. You put like this, you put your egg, egg in it. Okay. And you make sure everything is sealed. Completely. Completely. Okay. We don't know, I would want our egg to come out smoothly. So that's how it's usually sealed. Yes. Okay. Like this. Mm, it's like dumpling. Exactly. Okay. Then you roll it. You roll it to again smooth it. to smooth it. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So this is almost ready. This is. A, woo! Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's great. Okay. Yeah. Just like that. Okay, so this one will go in now. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so you just take bits of the of the flop, mixture. Of the mixture of everything. Yeah, and then you put it in. Yes. Okay. So that goes right. Right in. inside. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Gently so you just sprinkle. Sprinkle. Yeah. By the way, we're, we're melting the chocolate as well. Yeah, exactly. So the chocolate is uh, by the side. It's in a bowl. Uh, we put a bit of water. Exactly. In the pot, the and pot. then we are melting the chocolate in a bowl that's been placed in the pot, because the chocolate is an essential part of you know, this meal. If you have uh, something like salamander, okay. you can actually put the chocolate under it oh, with okay. a low heat. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Low heat. That will have to be done for a longer period of time. Yes, exactly. Okay. But it needs to be low. The heat should be very low, so okay. everything we have to melt gradually. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay, so could you show us more how okay. you're making this? No problem. Let's uh, take a this look is at ready. It. This one is ready. Oh, it's ready. Yeah. Okay. So I guess we're. This one is set. ready. Okay. There we go. Egg roll, nice and ready. Where's my fork and my knife? <laughs> yeah. So I'll just tell you guys how it tastes. <laughs> okay. You know what? Let's take a look at the ingredients. As lovely as this looks, if you're just tuning in you probably want to see how we came about it. Uh, so just um, take a look at uh, the egg roll there. Oh, wow. It looks nice, doesn't it? So I want to see how it's going to infuse this. And that's what I'm actually very curious about, how you're going to infuse the old chocolate okay. and uh, coconut into this egg roll. Okay. It looks good. Good enough to eat, like, literally. Exactly. <laughs> So let's okay, go so that's more of the mixture. This is the mixture, by the way. So this is where we're taking from. That's more of the mixture there. Yeah. You know, to make it more smooth, you put a little bit of flour okay. in your hand. Okay. So you can knead it very well. Okay. Yeah. So, so just, okay, as I, you can I see, check, I could check that for you. Oh yeah, it's actually very hot. Okay. So I just have to put my oil on a very low heat as well okay. so it won't get too you know i want okay. my flour to be done is it is this ready though yeah almost ready almost ready yeah. okay so there all right so uh i could turn down the heat for you though great uh let, let me turn down the heat here the chocolate needs to melt yes mm. okay so we can put this here 
on low heat. So this fries nicely as well. Now, you know, sometimes when we make food, right. there are different um, equipments that make life easier. Exactly. Egg roll doesn't seem to have any equipment that makes egg roll. Yeah, particularly because it has um, uh, a little more process that I think it's kind of crafty something. You know, you basically, I don't, I don't think that you know, do anything. So you have to roll yeah, it yourself. Roll it your, your so every egg roll we see is manually it's done. It's manually done. Wow. It's manually That's a done. lot of hard work. Yeah. It's manually done. But it's done. always tasty. Very it's nice. always tasty. Very nice. Most people when you add some uh, milk flavor. Wow. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Like we did in this, we actually added uh, cinnamon. 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 Uh, and let's nutmeg. talk about the ingredients. We, we added cinnamon. We, yes. we added um, nutmeg. Nutmeg. Yeah, baking powder. Baking powder. Yes. Okay. And uh, we added our, our egg yolk. Egg yolk. Yes. Okay. So we did away with the egg whites. This looks ready. Should yeah. I take it out? Yeah, lovely. Okay. It's okay. So uh, we are not making use of the egg whites for anything. It's going to be used I, for another dish, another time. Exactly. You okay. know, I I love my egg roll being fluffy. Okay. So fluffy. when you use only egg yolk, it's it look, makes it fluffy. fluffy. Okay. But when you use all of the eggs, what happens then? Uh, depends on the on the amount of the egg you put in. in but if it's too much, like you put all the egg egg and everything. Yeah. With the, yeah it's probably you won't get the consistency. Yeah, the consistency and the fluffiness. Okay. 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 All right, so that goes in as well. There's actually a lot of uh, handwork going on here. Uh, of course, uh, the chef washed his hands before he started. That's why I'm not touching it, so he can <laughs> run us through all of this. Okay? Exactly. Yeah, so it's, it's very hands-on. You roll, you put the egg in, you turn into a dumpling, then you roll it so it seals up completely, and then afterwards you put it in the pan, okay, so it can fry. Uh, it, it seems very easy, but you know how it is with the chefs. They make the cooking look really easy when uh, it, it, it might not exactly be that. Okay, let's roll another one. Okay. So, egg rolls. Yeah. Maybe the next time you make us fish rolls. No problem. And maybe after that we'll make meat rolls. <laughs> and then after that we'll make chicken rolls. I hardly ever see chicken rolls. You only see beef rolls beef or roll, fish, fish rolls. Is there a particular reason? Chicken doesn't go well with the rolls or... Yeah, everything is always by choice, actually. Uh -huh. So, you know, basically when it started, it was just fish roll and everything. Uh, oh, roll, so, okay. we, are, we are used to what we call yeah. the yeah. With the cost of fish now, though, you hardly see the fish in the roll anymore. <laughs> what you get is the roll. <laughs> the roll. <laughs> <laughs> and then some might even be generous enough to put a smattering of the fish. I will, you know, they just actually, rub it. Actually, there's something that come across the coming there was actually, and then it was like, I went to buy an egg roll, and then it's of egg roll there. It, what, what did you say? <laughs> It's actually very funny. <laughs> <laughs> so instead of egg, instead what did you find? Because it, the name is egg roll. Though. Yeah, yeah. You know but it depends of... on the country. Do you know that egg roll in Nigeria is different from egg roll in some countries? Oh, I mean, right, right, yeah. yeah so okay. it's it's different. <laughs> so if you are a Nigerian and then you go to certain countries yes. and you say, give me egg roll, what you get is not this egg roll. Though. Because you might just sit on the menu and then you think to yourself, yes. let me let me have yes, some egg roll. Some <laughs> I think it's ready. Okay. Ready, yes. So this is ready as well. So we're just going to keep frying. There's no break to this. We just have to keep frying so we can get it right. We're going to keep frying. Okay. So while we keep up with this, uh, hoping to beat the clock, literally, this is like a challenge for us. We need to go on this break. We'll be right back. Stay with us as we up Nigeria. Welcome back and thank you for staying with us. It's our parenting segment and today we have quite an interesting guest, Ola Bisioni. She is the CEO of Luxury Bridal Errand, the founder of a Value Added Parenting and a graduate of a Bees Admin. And of course today we're talking about a value added... Becoming a value added parent. Becoming a value added, added parent. parent. I like that. I like the way you coin it together. So, um, Earlier on, when we saw value added, we're thinking of putting, we think of tax. Once we just <laughs> see value added, the next one to put about is tax. But value added parenting, that's a, that's, a, that's a terminology or a neologism as a whole that we, we don't get to, I've never heard before. What do you mean by value added parenting? All right. Um, I'm so blessed to be here today. Mm. I deal with foundation. 
children foundation okay because um the book i believe in says if the foundation is destroyed what can the righteous do okay. and when we are talking about becoming a value-added parent there are two questions every parent must be able to answer okay. who are you accountable to then what's the purpose what kind of charge do you want to raise with that you are able to know what to equip yourself with information to get and how to mirror whatever you want your child to become to them so talking about um, who to accountable to, I'm going to say that every parent are like caretaker. God is the owner of these children, actually. And if you have that mentality that God is the owner of your child, you are accountable, you are careful with how you raise that child because you know you are going to give account to someone. And also, if you believe that God is the owner of your child, it means you go to God and ask him, if this child is yours, it means God's act purpose for that child. And you go to God to know the purpose he has for the child. The Bible, the book I believe in, says, um, before I formed you, I knew you. Before you came out of your mother's womb, I have appointed you to be a prophet unto the nation. Not prophet that we are used to. It depends on the sector that each child finds themselves. So you work with that God. You partner with God to know what the child wants to become. And talking about um, the purpose of the child, where you want the child to be, that will determine the kind of school and your availability in the life of that child. We have some parents that work five, five to nine or 11, based on Lagos traffic, you know, we have some fathers, both of them, they do nine to five job. Who is at home? Like I do say, one person must be at home. When I say one person must be at home, I don't mean, I don't mean full-time wife. You work, there are so many things you can do at home and you make money and you know, it depends. But the future of the children is more important mm. than what we have now. So mm -hmm. you know the kind of child you want to raise. You mm. know where to put the child, not leaving the child with the maid. Unless you want to show the blueprints of the child to the maid so it could follow that blueprint. But if not, the, the, the maid will just put anything he or she knows in the life of the, the, child, life of the child, whereas you are absent in the life of your child. Of child. Now, there's something you mentioned. Uh, while we're still talking about value, there's something you mentioned, raising up a child in the way you want him to be or her to be. But then, uh, the way you want them to be, is that the way they should be or the way they themselves? Like you mentioned, well, when we were talking earlier, you said something about your sons. They have some innate abilities which you were able to find out. Not every parent has been able to find out some kind of innate or know that there are innate abilities in their kids. What is there a possibility that you might be raising, you might be putting some value sets that don't go naturally with what that kid wants to do? If that's the case, how can one give value as it should be given in that kind of situation? That's why I mentioned the place of God. Okay. God has purpose for every child. So as parents, if you have that mentality of God, you must have make inquiry about what the child wants to become. And being with your child, right from childhood, you must have been seeing some, some traces, some talent in that mm. child, which means as parents, you already know this is where this child is going to. Well, so where, where parents cannot see this? You know, it's not every parent that is as, you know, insightful, sensitive. Like, as sen sensitive as that to see that. Like you said, now some parents are very busy. I guess. You, when you're in Lagos. You go out in the morning, you come back late at night, you are with the maid, or you take them to a crash, and there's something. So you don't get to see them develop, you don't get to see those kind of things. How do you, how, how do you sort out in that kind of case if time is of a constraint to you All as a parent? Right. As a parent, it's very important because I'm sure. Like, there's something I used to say that we have a lot of people in the world today. We all are product of a family. Yes, we are. Whether good people or bad people, we are mm. product of the family. We are product of what our parents put in us. Mm. So, as parents, it is very delicate. Parenting is sensitive. Mm. It's not something you neglect or you delegate. You must be there. And... So you, know, say you have to find that time. You have to find that time to discover that purpose. Every, including us. We okay. show this purpose we show these talents but some parents chose to be ignorant about this yeah. or nonchalant at some of us could play football but they told us go and read yes instead of going to play the football now nah, look at the, look at the now. purpose we have a lot of <laughs> graduates out there now trying to find their purpose yeah. we can save these children from this trauma some people they'll be like okay i don't have doctor in my family so you must be a doctor yeah. whereas maybe the child is called to be a singer 
Mm. So parents must, in fact, suppress their hair go and follow suits. Because if you, if you force the child to study a mix or something, you are mm. raising a murderer. Yes, because what if something? <laughs> yes, what if something went wrong? I've never wrong, heard it like this. Wrong. See, yeah, this I'll, I'll put this quote. If you force your child, let's say your child wants to be play, let's say football, or he has talent to it, you know, you see him making jobs as a producer, you know, he has talent to produce music, and then force the guy to do medicine. They're raising a murderer. <laughs> like we, we've had like so many that. cases that a, a doctor forgets something during an operation, things like that. I mean, a doctor that can forget this carpet, maybe he should have been a producer. Happened. Yes, things <laughs> happened. Things happen. So let's allow these children. What? The Bible says, like train up a child in the way it should go. There mm. is a way. Mm. Not even children, mm. as the case may be. Even if you have 10 children, there is a way each child should go. Not all of them. Put them together. So I've seen a family of mother, father, lawyer, six children, six lawyers. And I, it's okay. I do have wonderful family. Like everybody's like, ah, you don't try anything. That family, they will sue everything out of you. But really, uh, uh, having six children and having them do the same, uh, are, are those kind of parents, are they not training those children the way they want those students to be? You know, they want them to be, you know, parents who love their, ch their kids to be like them in, you know, in their, in their field. That's why a footballer wants to train his son to play football. Uh, you know, a music producer will want to bring you, come, you have to play keyboards and all of that. It, it, that's, that's, that, that can be quite a problem, right? Yes, it can be a problem. Mm. But Happiness is, is, is something that is very important. Mm. Are those children happy with what they are doing? Mm. It is very key. So that's why every parent, you must follow suit your child, what he loves to do. It is very important. Forcing what you want on them is not it. Thank you so much, ma'am. You know, of everything you said today, that one that you said really made the most mark with me and it's something that will stay with me. I have got, I've gained value from this discussion with mm -hmm. you today. And uh, I know some other people have gained some value and all of that. Like you said, value added parents, ensuring that that is the way that they should go. Yes. From what the key points that I can pick from what you said now is that, you know, observe that child, notice what they are quite good at, and then train them in that particular way. Make time. You said even if you don't have to, you must, you have to make that time. I like that. Thank, Thank you. you so much. And here's wishing you the best and uh, keep up, uh, keep on giving value Thank because uh, that's quite something. All right. Thank so I want to give you some value. We have some value for you. All right. I hope, uh, <laughs> I hope uh, maybe this morning can take a bite of something. We have something ready in the kitchen for Ooh, you. Amazing. Okay. Uh, but Mazino, hmm? uh, I, I know you are not raising a murderer. I see. <laughs> when she, she said that, I was like. <laughs> Uh, Mary, Mary, I, I, I know both of you are not raising money. No, by the grace of God. By the grace, I, I the like that. They can do okay. what they want Jesus to do. Everything. All right, you have to take care of how, how quite well Please. because uh, she gave me value today. I learned quite something. She gave so, me yeah. a scare. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that way. A, please, ma'am, are, are you okay? So I'm fine. Please sit down. Put the, put I'm, I'm scared of you right now. <laughs> but good to have you here. I'll very, very intense topic today, especially the way you put it. That was rather scary, but I do understand exactly what you're talking about. So, hey, Mary and Chef Isaac yes, have been working uh, very hard. Chef Isaac is uh, today's chef. Mm -hmm, yeah, so uh, I don't know. What is this called again? What is so this, this is, for me, it's simply gourmet egg roll. Gourmet egg roll. But okay. Chef Isaac has a name for it, which I'll let him do the same. <laughs> <laughs> a very so, interesting name. So these uh, is actually a fused cinnamon and um, coated chocolate mm -hmm. and topped with uh, coconuts. Okay. Yes. So this we have, um, you know, our normal egg roll, our usual egg roll. Mm -hmm. yes. So, and then these are coconuts. I just do a little bit of syrup and then mix the coconut with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. I actually love it more brown, actually. Okay. So as time goes on, to get more brown. That okay. is cool. I have chocolate there. All yes. Right. I've melted my chocolate. So you can actually go ahead and eat it. It's very nice. And okay. Okay. Yeah. So mm, I felt it would never stop. <laughs> I can imagine how you felt. Okay, so just dig into it. Yeah. Now, let me warn you. If you want a melt in the mouth, yeah. you're in the right place. Go mm. ahead. The way you say that makes it so delicious. Oh, mm -hmm. oh boy. It's very doughy. Have you tasted egg roll like this before? Hell. They have this a bit of the coconut yummy. and everything. Yummy. She said yeah. this is yummy. Yeah, mm. I hope I hope there's enough to go around, Chef Isaac. More than enough. Okay. I More like it when enough. Chef Isaac is around. There's uh, always look, so look, much look for everybody. I love, <laughs> I love this and this is my first time of tasting this. Okay. Have you tasted it with the chocolate? Mm -hmm. Yes. It's ah, just chocolate boy. On that bit. See. Please can I join you? I can join you. <laughs> <laughs> we need to say 
a very <laughs> big thank you to oh you for boy. watching. We also need to say a very big thank you to all our contributors. Mm -hmm. And of course, to everyone who has been a part of the show today. Thank you so much, Chef Isaac. We are looking forward to digging into this. By the way, we decided no to make uh, <laughs> gourmet buns. <laughs> Just take a look at it. So this one is gourmet buns. So there's no egg in that one? No, there's no egg in this one. Okay. But believe me, this is what they call melt in the mouth gourmet buns. That is that is the one we're giving to Mike. Yes, that's the that's small one. That's, that's the one we're giving. I, I didn't know that, but Imagine that's the one. <laughs> You see, now, my your child, I'll ask her what's of wisdom to round up the show. Your child maybe can they have, you know, when they're growing up and they're playing chef, uh -huh. they might have that innate talent to be chef, and then you want them to go and study engineering. <laughs> when that child that should be a chef is, well, goes to study engineering, and now go and nail something in you, and now be you for that, no, thank you are raising Modra. Yes, thank you. You're raising Modra. Or your child should be a DJ. Oh, you now let him go and do medicine. We have started with Madam, you, you, have, you, you have created a new They will now go and keep scrapping inside your stomach. Have a great day, everybody. They will play DJ. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow, bright and early, Wonder Women Wednesday. Bye-bye. Just bye. in case you're wondering why we're, we've been tested, and I was so excited that she's back on the show. That's why we're so close. So don't worry, we're good. Oh, my God. I <laughs> we, we will catch you guys tomorrow. Madras, you just said COVID, and you are doing modern thing there. Madras, both of you.